Welcome back kids. Those bodies of water that you just saw is our topic for discussion today. Each of them is unique in their own way. Four cousins from different towns lived near different bodies of water. Their names are Jake, Lisa, David and Anna. Jake lived near an ocean. Its water was salty, therefore it was not good for drinking, but the waves were fun to play in. Anna lived near a lake. She liked to sail on it. Her town also got drinking water from the lake. David lived near a river. The water moved fast. It helped boats to carry goods from other cities. Lisa also lived near a moving water, but this body of water was smaller. It moved more slowly than a river. Lisa lived near a stream. The stream was perfect for fishing. Which of these bodies of water is your favorite? Before you choose your answer, let me tell you more about these bodies of water. Let me start with the ocean. An ocean is a large body of salty water. Most of Earth's water is in oceans. Oceans have powerful waves and large sea creatures like the great white shark, the giant octopus, the giant squid, the blue whale which is as big as 30 adult elephants combined, starfish and many more. What I like most about oceans is its windy environment. Now, the lake is a body of water that is surrounded by land. There are 117 million lakes on earth. Most lakes are relatively small. 90 million lakes are less than two football fields in size. In lakes, there are water plants, fishes like salmon, catfish and eel. Water snakes too live near lakes. Insects and small birds too are found in lakes. Many lakes too have fresh water that people drink. A river is a kind of water that flows to meet with other water bodies. People travel to their neighboring towns and cities through the river. Streams flow as well, but while a river is wide, a stream is narrow. People also enjoy swimming in streams. Now you have known more about these different bodies of water. We have made clear the difference between a river, an ocean, a stream and a lake. We have said that an ocean is a large body of salty water. It is deeper than all other bodies of water. It holds 96.5% of Earth's total water. And we said that a lake is a body of water surrounded by land. Streams and rivers are bodies of water that flow. While a river is wide, a stream is narrow and shallow compared to other bodies of water. This will be all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. So please do well to attempt your quizzes and your assignments. I am looking forward to have you in the next class. Goodbye.